This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9. And verse 9 in the Holy Scriptures, and it reads in the book of Luke, But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Matthew 24 and 6 to verse 8 and verse 6 in the book of Matthew and the Holy Scriptures and it reads and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet verse 7 for nations shall rise against nations and kingdom against kingdoms and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And these are the beginning of sorrows. Precept again. Mark 13, 7 through verse 8. And when you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be not troubled, for such things must need be, but the end shall not be yet. Verse 8 in the book of Matthew and the Holy Scriptures, and it reads. For a nation shall rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows. Revelations 11 and 14. Verse 14 in the book of Revelations in the Holy Scriptures, and it reads The second world is past, and behold, the third world coming quickly. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to, to Yahweh, Baha'u'llah, Yahweh Shah, Baha'u'llah, Wakar Kadash, double honors. To the elders and the apostles, of great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akin, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akin, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say shout out to your Akin out there. And as you see, I brought out those uh, scriptures with the increase of uh, commotions of wars, wars and rumors of wars, and the nations rising against nations. And in the uh, increase of a uh, second world was passed, and behold, the third world coming quickly. As we're definitely living in the book of Revelations, more heavier now than ever, what these uh, wars is increasing and intensifying in the latter days. And this is a news article from RT.com, was published on August the 5th, 2022, uh, World News Alternative News Around the World. And the highlight of this news article when it reads for in the news on August the 5th, 2022, on this Friday afternoon. And the highlight and it reads, Israel prepares to revisit a Gaza conflict intensifies. Their alert came after the Palestinian militants vowed to avenge their slain commander. Israeli Defense Minister Ben Gaze gave the green light on Friday to call up 25,000 military reservists should be able to require Israel is on a state of high alert with Palestinian militants promising revenge for the killing of one of their top commanders in an Israeli airstrike. The God's official announcement of a potential call of less than an hour of Palestinian jihadist PIJ leader Zahid al Nakahila threatens to rain down missiles on the city of Tel, Tel Aviv over the coming hours. It says al Nakaha, if I pronounce his name right, issued a threat after Israeli warplanes flying fire a missile at a apartment building in Gaza City, Gaza City, killing a PIJ commander, Tishar Al Jabari, the strike dubs operation breaking dawn 
the air defense, the uh, Israel defense forces the IDF targets an additional 10 to 20 PIJ T E R R I R I S T S and kill members of a T A R R O R I S T squad who were on their way to carry out anti tank missiles and sniper attacks, the Israeli military claim. Palestine officials said that the strikes killed nine people. Now it went up to an extra person that killed two. Now it went from nine. Now it went up to ten. So I, I uh, was looking at it on the news uh, from CNN, I believe. Even though CNN is not 100% accurate of what they say on the news. But when I was looking at the news, I said about, about 10 to 15 minutes ago, they said the death toll went from 9 to 10 now. And it says Palestinians officially says the strikes killed at least 9, even though one of an actual person killed, including a 5-year-old and a 55 others wounded. And they said alongside al car threat a joint operation room representing, representing multiple other Palestinian militant groups issue a statement warning that the Israeli strike won't go unpunished. It says preparations for the Palestinian uh, retaliation are underway in Israel with the IDF operation emergency high command post and deploying Iranian, I mean iron dome missile defense batteries near the city of Berzirpa. Uh, tells Tel Aviv and Jerusalem bomb shelters also have been ready in Tel Aviv. And it says while well, police and fires have been dispatched to the areas Israel borders with Gaza in anticipating of rocket fire shortly after Gaza announced Israeli forces renewed their assault. On the Gaza Palestine sources say another PIJ operator was reportedly killed as the IDF spokes spokesman Juan Kazis told Israel Channel 12 we are in the midst of a target campaign against Palestine Islamic Jihadists and that Israel is hoping not to drag Hamas into the rapid escalation. <clears throat> What's it? Never know. That might be the might be the case. Hamas might get dragged in there as well too. You never know. It says, uh, but uh, continue on with the reading. Uh, the IDF, meanwhile, posts video footage of its troops forming up and uh, apparently preparing for combat. The latest escalations began with Israeli forces arrest the PIJ's West Bank leader, Basham Shadi in the city of Jean on Monday, a Palestinian teenagers were killed in a raid on Sadia's home, triggering an outcry. Okay. She called me, put it in the Okay. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and get the last Okay. Triggers outcry across the Palestinian territory as the P 
DIJ place its fighters on high alert. Israelis officially reportedly warned this week of an impending revenge attacks. says Palestinian militant vows imminent, imminent revenge on uh, Israel. Tel Aviv will be targeting by missiles within hours. Huh. Oh yeah, I got some Squads who were on the way to carry out anti-tank missiles and sniper rifles. 
Palestinian teenager was killed in a raid on Sadahi's um, in the city of Jean on Monday. A Palestinian teen teenager was killed in a raid on Sadahi's home trip outcry across the Palestinian territory, prompting the PIJ to place its fires on fighters on high alert. While Hamas and another Palestinian military group was not targeting in Friday's operation, it put out a statement shortly after Al Jamar's death was announced saying, The blood of our people and resistance are not shed in vain. So, yeah, hey, these tensions are definitely stirring up. And this is a, 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 re a revisit. You know, this is a revisiting on the uh, escalations between Palestine and, uh, you know, Israel, you know, the Palestinian conflict, you know, now is being revisited once again as, you know, these conflicts between these nations have been ongoing on and off, you know. So it's going to increase now more than ever, you know between these uh, two nations as the scripture has stated hey nations shall rise against nations kingdom against kingdoms and these two nations are definitely going to increase against one another you know especially there's going to be a lot of war war going on in the middle east even though we so used to hearing these things you know every day in the news especially in the middle east region now it's being increased now more than ever. So, hey, these tensions between Israel and uh, Palestine, along with Hamas as well, too. You know, uh, on a Hamas, on a Hamas side, you know, they sent threats to Israel, along with the uh, Palestinians as well, too. So, I won't be surprised they get involved in this as well, too. You know, because they they have the same enemy. If they look at uh, the IDF, Israel, the Israelis in Israel as the enemy, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if these both, I wouldn't be surprised as uh, as uh, the Palestinian militants, you know, they, they want revenge, you know. They're going to revenge their military leader that was killed in the airstrike, you know, over in the Gaza script. So expect to see a response from Hamas and the uh, Palestinian militants as well too, as these tensions increase between Israel and Palestine and Hamas as well too against Israel. You know, so that's what goes into the increase of uh, World War Three, and we are definitely in the midst of it because World War Three is definitely imminent. This as I brought out Revelations 11 and 14, the second world was passed, and behold, third world coming quick. Right, because third world coming quick because we're seeing signs of that what the tensions are increasing in the Middle East, you know. And it's gonna increase now more than ever in these last days, you know. So with that, I hope this uh, lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of the Hawaii Awashai. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Basha, Yahweh Sha, Basha, Makakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Christmas Word, Truth and Sincerely, and Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christmas Word, Truth and Sincerely, and Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christmas Word, Truth and Sincerely, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christmas Word, Truth and Sincerely. And before I close out this lesson on August the 5th, 2022, on this uh, Friday afternoon, so yeah, hey, expect more tensions increase between these two different nations of people, or two different nations, you know, especially in the Middle East. As war going on in the Middle East is increasing now more than ever, you know. So with that, I will say Shalom and a